Hi, Ron. Well, thank you for joining me today, the day before your World Heads Up record attempt. Now, 72 hours, that's a really long time to stay awake. What tactics are you going to employ to stay awake that long? Tactics? Same as whenever, whenever I play poker. I'm high energy, but uh, I've stayed awake for far longer periods doing far more important things, so uh, I'm not really uh, concerned about the time. I'll be tired, but uh, it shouldn't be that much for me. So when have you stayed awake longer than these three days? Uh, I stood watching a submarine for about 150 hours out of 160 one week. It was slightly different circumstances, but uh, I managed to do that. So 72 hours should be quite easy. So you didn't rest at all during that time on the submarine? I think I had about an hour or two of sleep through the whole 150 hours, yeah. in 15-minute spots. So you're not going to use any kind of artificial help? No, aside from I'll drink tea like I normally do and uh, probably smoke a few cigarettes. But no Vivrin or any of that type of stuff, or Red Bull, because I can't stand the taste of it, or any of that stuff. Nothing illegal at all? Nope, I don't, I don't engage in any narcotic usage. So you've got a lot of big names confirmed to play against you. Who have you got to play? Uh, right now we've got Johnny Chan, Phil Helmuth, Mike Caro, a bunch of full tilters... And a few other, Barry Greenstein and a few others. And we're supposed to be getting, uh, Matt Savage is supposed to be bringing in a lot more of the, sort of the players who play his tournaments. So it should be a lot, including those names. That's a pretty impressive list. So who out of all of these don't see the most? I fear no one. Until, I'd, I've never feared anyone playing poker. Uh, unless, perhaps, like the first few days I played. There are some players who are better than me. There are a lot of players who are worse than me. But until they start getting, getting dealt three cards when I get dealt two... I don't worry about them. Who do you think you're most likely to lose against? Or are you confident you're going to beat everyone? I will start every match highly confident that I'm going to win. I would make myself favorite in almost every match. Aside from unless, you know, someone comes up who's a Raz specialist and wants to play me Raz or a deuce to seven triple draw wants to play that, then they're probably a favorite. But other than that, in any general poker match, I would make myself favorite. So what do you think your odds are to beat the 72-hour record? 72 hours? Uh... I go probably around six to four, something to that, something to that effect, about completing the full 72 hours. Uh, I'd say I go two days, no problem. At least maybe, you know, probably about 50 to one that I crap out within the first 48 hours. And then the, obviously the odds are going to start tightening a bit as we uh, approach the end, the end of day three. I'd say six to four, not much higher than that. Now the other night in the bar, you were running around with the cards four two. And you're running around going, live, 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 have this, it's a mad yank, it's a mad yank. What was that all about? Oh, the 2-4 uh, spades is a royal yank. 2-4 is a mad yank, and the 2-4 suited is a royal yank. And that's just because <clears throat> I've won about eight tournaments with that hand, 2-4 spades specifically, and won some very large cash pots in London with that hand as well, either by bluffing or making hands that are completely impossible to be in pots that, that size and then killing trip bases and things of such. So does it influence your play when you get dealt the 4-2? I mean, there are quite a few gut shotters who claim that whenever they get dealt the powerhouse, they treat it the same way they treat aces, and they've, they're convinced they're not going to lose. Do you treat it the same way? Uh, to some degree. I'll play it a bit more often than I'll play other crappy cards, I suppose, but I won't play it for very expensive uh, amounts. But uh, I guess I'm more skilled in playing those sort of tiny crappy cards and most people, because they play them far more often and therefore pr more experienced at it. Mm. So I know the situations where I'm more than likely ahead or behind. Well, thanks for your time, Ron, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.